we're attempting to climb Indonesia's second highest volcano. Yeah, it's gonna be really, really tough. But will it be worth it? Not just plastic trash, human feces. We just passed someone who is passed out on the ground. Maybe the title of this video should be Morale, Morale Killer. Killer. Most importantly, coffee is here. Mm. That's strong. As we enjoy our morning coffee, I'll explain a little bit about the day ahead. Mount Rinjani is located on the Indonesian island Lombok. We stayed overnight somewhere around here, but we'll be driven this morning to somewhere around here to start hiking up the volcano. But first, because this hike is so hard, we're required to visit a doctor to confirm we're in good enough shape to do it. So that medical test took about five seconds, and I think we passed. <laughs> I think he just wrote 110 over 70 for everybody's blood pressure. Yeah, they just check your blood pressure and make sure you have oxygen saturation of not dead. And then we were off. And there's me trying to stave off a wave of car sickness, which is why we didn't film too much of this road trip. I think we're here. I guess so. Looks like they check passports before you get into the park, so that's what we're gonna do now. Melissa's getting sick. Alright, we made it to the entrance. <laughs> All right, let the trek begin. We're in a group of 13 people. Ooh, it's a big group. <sighs> the largest group we've ever hiked with. And this backpack weighs like a million <laughs> kilos on my back. Way overpacked. Way, way overpacked. <laughs> Mount Rinjani stands at 3,700 and some meters tall, and it's an active volcano, and it's pretty difficult to get to the top. Because to get there, we have to gain over 2,600 meters in elevation and hike 15 kilometers over the next two days. It's going to take us about approximately one hour to get to position one, which is going to be a break point. And this whole track is basically position one, two, three, four. First two positions today should be pretty easy to get to, but then three and four are supposed to be pretty backbreaking. Just left position one and now we're heading on to position two, which is yeah. really only 1.4 kilometers away. All of our food and all of our housing tents are being carried to the top by porters, similar to Everest Base Camp. But we are carrying these heavy backpacks for three days worth of clothing, things to clean yourself, snacks, camera gear, a lot of camera gear. You know, all the important stuff. There's a rainfall coming down, and it's starting to rain a little bit, so... I feel a couple of raindrops. One or two. No? Okay. No. That might be your own sweat. <laughs> <laughs> That's possible. Okay, this is position two. See where people are making all the food. These are our cooks for the day. What's in there? Chicken? Yes, chicken. Ah. They're also eating. There are people sitting underneath the patios. Alright, so we just got lunch and it's nasi growing an egg, I think. after lunch and we're hiking again. This is the hard part of today. Wish us luck. <laughs> She's not kidding. Most of the uphill is coming up. People are doing it in flip-flops. Yeah, absolutely crazy. I don't know how they do it. 
But they keep moving. Ah, uh, US, but from India originally. Yeah. Well, India. Yeah. Ah, you know. I am um, just marching on. No stops. High five. Good job, buddy. I think the only way to keep motivated on this track is to just look at them. It is awe-inspiring to see how like they can just keep going and doing it twice a week. In flip-flops. Just a preview. We're gonna climb up that little ridge up there. You'll probably see a bunch of people over there. Jeez. And so are these people. Thank you. We've made it to position number three. Only two more kilometers to the top of our today's stop. Guys, right, check out this path. It's gotten so gnarly. The elevation just keeps going up. This is the part of the hike where you question everything. What am I doing? Why am I doing it? But this guy has good pumping music, so that helps. I like his music. Real taco. This hike got real hard real fast. And there was just like this squeeish feel, just loose rock. And we kept like falling over. Even though we have our poles now, Mike, it's quite demoralizing. It doesn't feel very good. It's hard to stay motivated though, you know? Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do I hate this hike? The scale answer is 10. This is a miserable hike. I want to say like I'm like super into this hike, but now that we're almost to the base camp, I'm really thinking I'm not doing the second day. It's been quite hard on the joints, to be honest. Sounds like an old man, but... Last few steps for the crater rim. And I am freaking spent, dude. I don't know about you. I will never do this one ever again. Despite the struggle, we made it to base camp, which we'll show you more of once we recover a bit. And surprisingly, we made it here earlier than expected. We still made it here before like a 4.30, which is the slow time that he gave us. If you're decent speed, you'll get here at four. We actually got here a little bit before four. I had such a hard time on this one. This one was like, I, I just hated the hike. I don't know why, I've never hated a hike. Not even at the summit, which is right behind me, somewhere over there. Yeah. Maybe the title of this video should be Morale, Morale Killer, Killer Hike. <laughs> Yeah. I just don't know if we were like mentally prepared for it, or maybe it's just like an off day, I don't know. We also didn't sleep very well last night either. It's the a combo of factors. Combination yeah. of things. Guys, welcome to our humble abode. Good night. I'm finally horizontal. For a couple hours, we're just gonna hang out. And then uh, we're gonna have dinner. And then tomorrow at 2 a.m., we're gonna get up and hike to the top of Mom and Johnny. Tomorrow's gonna be twice as hard. But before all of that, we had to catch one of the most epic sunsets we've ever experienced. A small reprieve from all the pain and frustration we were feeling. Everybody's going to bed, the sun has set, and we're going to wake up in about seven hours to hike up that mountain, if you can see it around the stars. If it looks like this is a horror movie, it is not. We're just in our tent, and it's windy outside, and the light up top here is shaking. Okay, so what are your day one confessions? So I'll do like high high and low low. The sunset was amazing. Mm, it was I agree. Beautiful. Like it just looked fake. Like that's how 
awesome it was. And Lolo, we've been slower than what we typically are, and I think it's because we're carrying a heavy pack. Being treated by the... Say it, say it! You're walking slow, therefore, like, you don't know anything. And you're treated kind of like... A, yeah, yeah. I, I just don't respond to that very well in Dune. Yeah. Hi, hi, Lucia, the sunset, drone shots. Lolo, I found was the... The amount of trash on this mountain. It's not just plastic trash, there's um, human feces. There's no toilets up here, so like the toilets that they set up is literally just like a tent that covers you and a hole in the ground. It would be okay on like a non-managed or like big jungle. But you're bringing so many people up this mountain and Crater Rim is pretty small. Anyways, I'm very passionate about the subject, if you don't know. <laughs> if I'm president. <laughs> if, I, if you give me your vote, I will clean up this whole mountain. <laughs> you guys can see the little lights going up the mountain. They're all climbing up slowly but surely. Good morning. It is 2 a.m. and we're gonna start our summit push right now. Every fiber in my body does not want to do this. I don't think I slept at all. Mm -hmm. So I just twisted and turned the whole time. Yeah, yeah. I think that was mostly what I did too. Okay. We have started our ascent. We see a long list of long line of hikers up there. Sign says warning landslides. Working with this sort of sand, where it's two steps forward and one step back. We just passed someone who is, looked like they were passed out on the ground. Didn't look very good. It's a pretty extreme. It's gonna be tough, huh? It's gonna be tough, yeah. We are about an hour from the summit. It's a little bit more climbing, and then there's a final push, which is through a scree field. So you've been walking through some scree, but it's been manageable so far. I think this scree is like going to be like finer particulate that's going to feel like walking in sand and hills. It's about an hour, maybe an hour and a half until sunrise, so we still have a little bit more time to make it there. As the sun started to creep up from below the horizon, we, along with many others, were still working our way through the final summit push. And with the light of day, we were able to see what we couldn't before, the extent of the trail we had already passed and what remained ahead. We're celebrating with Oreos at the top. We made it! That was probably the hardest hike I've probably ever done. Ever. That little line along there of the multiple colors, that is our tents. So that's where we came from. It does not look very far, but man. If you haven't already gathered, the hike we signed up for was a two-night, three-day summit and crater rim adventure. If we were to continue, we'd be hiking an additional thousand meters in elevation gain after coming down from the summit to get to the next campsite. And if you can't already tell, Rishi and I were not up for the additional challenge. Whether it was from the hike or additional factors, we were close to a point of exhaustion. So we parted ways with our group at this juncture and continued down the mountain on our own. Most of this adventure we did not film because going down was, in a lot of ways, harder than going up. And as we end things here, just remember, our experience isn't your experience. 
we wanted to be honest about how we felt and what we saw along the way, because not every nature adventure is as easy or as seamless as what the internet makes it seem. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.